I check. I invite the church now to stand for the call well, to worship. This week, it has been a lovely week. I hope you had a joyous week. And if it wasn't so, maybe through illness, maybe through, you know, money challenges, whatever it is, Jesus is there. Here today at Port Antonio SDA Church at 10 Somerstone Road, we are worshiping under the theme, you know, it's Visitor's Day. And if you are nearby, please come and join us. It has been beautiful from morning. And leave with us though this week as we study the Great Controversy. It says, in the great controversy raging in the universe, the devil wants to deface the image of God in humanity. The purpose of, of the gospel is to restore the image of God in humanity. This restoration includes physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual healing. So for those who are sick, whether physically, emotionally, God is there. Jesus reveals his plan for us, one of us, or let me say that again. Jesus reveals his plan for each one of us. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. And what a God we serve. He longs for us to be physically healthy, mentally alert, emotionally stable, and spiritually whole. I pray that as we journey on today in our worship service here today, we all will be blessed. So as we turn over now, going back to our program, where we can all have a blessed Sabbath. Revelation 14, 6 to 12, let's go after three. One, two, three. And I saw, flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth, and the sea and the fountains of water. There followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. You may be seated. Pleasant good morning, church family. Pleasant good morning, church family. Psalm 100, verse 5 says, For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. On behalf of the leadership and membership of this Seventh-day Adventist church, in Port Antonio, I want to say welcome to all to this special place, this house of prayer, the house of God for all people. Among those gathered for worship today 
are some persons we call our guests. Some names have been recorded in the visitor's register. I will read those names and ask you to stand and remain standing. Then I will invite those whose names were not recorded. Maybe you are coming afterwards. So here I begin. Earl One from Las Vegas. Kindly stand. He's standing. Thank you. Please remain standing. Tassand Stewart, Norwich Heights. Thank you. Tasha Lee Monroe, Norwich Heights. Amen. Sashoya Stewart, Norwich Heights. Amen. Iselin Campbell, 16 Land Settlement, Anchovy Land Settlement. Where is she? Oh, thank you. Cecil Dunkley. 115 Anchovy Housing Scheme. Amen. Where is he? Oh, thank you. Jennifer Campbell, 51 Beverly Drive. That's from Clarindon. Thank you. Then we have Kerry Den Esteen, 3A Boundbrook Avenue. Amen. Thank you. Garfield Jackass. Fairy Hill District. Amen. Thank you. Neville Murray, Port Antonio. Amen. Amen. Sanisha Legister, Snow Hill. Amen. Amen. Oswald Smith, Rezazor Road. Amen. Amen. Perlene McFarlane, Wayne Road. Amen. Amen. Venice Lindsay, Springbank Road, Venice. Amen. Where is she? Okay, thank you. Christine Wedderburn from Anchovy. Christine, thank you. Jan, I'm not sure what this name is. But the last name is Thorpe, St. Mary. Oh, pastor's son. Amen. Jaheem Thorpe. Thank you. Remain standing. And Shelly Ann Low and Chauvy Land Settlement. Amen. Amen. Where is Shelly Ann? Amen. Amen. Clyde Mackenzie, Norwich District. Clyde Mackenzie, where is Clyde? I'm not seeing him. Then Aloma Tolo, Wayne Road. Somebody's pointing somewhere. He's upstairs, thank you. Are there other visitors with us today whose names were not recorded? Could you just join the others who are standing? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Did any of our visitors did not receive one of our tokens? If you did not get a little book, please put your hand up. There are two hands up front. Sister Delaney is coming, and she's going to give you a warm handshake and present you with one of the tokens for today, visitors. And please look in your little book. There's a note pasted inside of it. Please take note of that. There's a hand at the back. Somebody who did not get a token. Thank you very much. A visitor was invited to come today and she said to the member who invited her, I will come because today is my birthday. Is that person here? This token is for that person. Are you here? We are not seeing the hand. All right. I'm now going to ask a member of the church 
to stand beside each visitor. Any member? We see how quickly we can do that. Members, please stand beside the visitors. Our welcome song today says, Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. We are going to sing that part once. And then the second time, we are going to sing, Hug a little friend, the friend that's near to you. So you are going to give your visitor a little hug when you reach to that part. Let's go. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 Lord, you may be seated. Members, we welcome you warmly to service today. And we ask that as we worship, remember, you belong right here. So we should endeavor to be present every time the doors are opened for service. Visitors and members, remember God is the best listener. You don't need to shout nor cry out loud because he hears even the very silent prayer of a sincere heart. Keep God in your heart today and always. At this time, we will join our voices together as we sing the opening hymn, Seeking the Lost, yes, kindly entreating. It is number 373 in the Seventh Day Adventist hymnal.
Let us continue our worship of the Most High God as we return to him our tithes and offerings. Returning our tithes and giving our offerings is a genuinely rewarding part of worship. In addition to providing the means for the continuation and growth of the Lord's work, we symbolize our faithful stewardship of all that is His, as well as the giving of ourselves to the Lord. Let us bow our heads as we pray. Kind, righteous, eternal, heavenly Father, today we come into your presence because we are grateful to you for your many blessings. As we come today, Lord, we come to give not only our means to you that you have blessed us with, but we come to give ourselves to you. We ask that you bless each worshiper and help us to be generous and to give willingly, we pray in Jesus' precious name. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. That's 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 2. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So from this text, we know that we owe nothing. All that we have is lent to us by God himself. He also says, the silver is mine and the gold is mine. That's Haggai chapter 2 and verse 8. Then in Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18 it says, But you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to make wealth. I am just a manager of God's resources and I choose to be faithful to him as he is to me. As a faithful steward, I return my tithes 10% of my income to support the ministries and missions of the church. I give an offering also to help in the growth of the gospel work. I have learned that you cannot beat God's giving, no matter how hard you try. I have seen God do so much with so little for so long. I now believe that he can do anything with nothing. Shall we all stand?
it is now time for the children's story. I will have the singing birds to sing that the children come so that they will be fed at this time. Sabbath boys and girls. Happy Sabbath, bigger boys and girls. So our story today is our topic is trees. And our scripture is taken from Proverbs eleven verse thirty. Are we ready now? Proverbs 11, verse 30 says, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth soul is wise. Ready for our story now, boys and girls? Your Bible says, The seed of a good deed become a tree of life. Kids, come quick. It looked like there is fire on the mountain. There, there is a lot of smoke. I can't see very well, Gianna said. Why is the mountain on fire? Asked Ray. Maybe someone was careless and the tree and grass caught on fire. Mom answered. The animals suffer too. They lose their homes and have to run away. Fire affect us too. It pollutes the hair so we can't breathe. What can we do? What can we do to not pollute the hair? Jana Hans. So boys and girls, what are some of the things that we can do not to pollute the hair? Anybody? All right, so let us continue. What can we do not to pollute the hair? By calling the fire truck to put out the fire. Besides being careful with fire, we can plant trees. Can anybody here plant a tree? All right. They can help clean the hair. They also give us food shade and many other things the bible say that the new heart will have beautiful trees and one of them will be very special it's called the tree of life and we will eat its fruit when we get there do you want to be with jesus and enjoy that that fruit of the tree of life anybody want to enjoy that fruit you don't want to all right, so I'm going to ask someone to pray so that we can be more like Jesus and then when we get there, we can eat from that fruit, right? Anybody want to pray? Let us pray. Father, I thank you for reaching us to church and I thank you for bringing us to church and I thank you for when we are woke up and sleep and when um thank you God for waking me up and please please father pray for all the church members and my family amen, amen. So 
we are asking the children to remain. If they be able to be blessed, we are asking the parents of the child to come at this time. Um, the elders will join me down here. Baby. Baby's name is Jayla Amora Lewis. That's correct. And the mother's name is Shelley Ann Lowe. We are told that it's always a blessing to see children around us. In fact, as the song says, Jesus loves the little children. And even in scripture, we can find evidence of that. In St. Matthew chapter 19, from verse 13, it says, Then were brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked him. But Jesus said, Suffer the little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of of heaven. And verse 15 says, and he laid his hands on them and departed hence. This morning as we pray for young jailer, we can ask God to do the blessing and God can bless. He's always blessing. And it's a good practice to see mothers and fathers bring their children into the house of worship so they can start their life by serving by serving God. It's always a privilege to have children around. And mother, you're blessed with this gift from God. And God is going to hold you responsible to take care of this child. But when he returns, you along with this child will be able to return unto him. We cannot bless, but we can pray. And God always hears our prayers and he answers. So I'm going to ask Elder Panton to pronounce that blessing, that prayer upon baby. Shall we bow our heads while we pray? O oh God, O oh Heavenly Father, we are grateful to Thee for the opportunity of calling Thee Father. Being Father to all of us means that Thou art our provider and our protector. Lord, in a special way, we pray that thou will provide in a marked way for this young child that her mother has brought unto thee. We pray that thou will bless this child immensely so that she will do well in life. She will do well at our schoolwork. And she will rise up to be a blessing to her mother and father and also to this church. In a special way, we pray that thou will continue to be the protector of this child. 
We pray that thou will protect the child from diseases of all sorts. We pray that she will grow up well, healthy, and strong, but more so strong in the power and in the might of Jesus Christ. In a special way, we pray that thou will bless the other children that are here. We pray that thou will steady their feet and close their mouth as they listen today to the dropping of thy holy words. May we have a great day in Zion when we shall have come to the end of this worship. May all of us say it was good for us to be in the house of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.
acknowledge that with a bigger amen amen it's scripture reading time it's Luke chapter 15 verse 24 or scriptural meditation Luke chapter 15 verse 24 let us stand Luke chapter 15, verse 24, we'll read the passage together. We'll read the verse together. Let's go. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. This is the word of the Lord to our hearts. Remain standing.
at this time we are inviting all to turn their hearts heavenward and where possible we are asking persons to need praise the Lord our heavenly father the one who spoke and it was done the creator of heaven and of earth we deem it a great privilege to be gathered here today in this your house of worship Lord we want to give you thanks for this another gift of your Sabbath day whereby we can come to celebrate creation we thank you O Lord for being the God who never fails the one who is in control of all things the one who sees the beginning from the hand praise God the one who knows everything about us he knows our name there isn't anything that we can hide because he's a God that reads the heart and all the motives so we come today Lord to lift high your holy name we thank you Lord for this is not a special day whereby we could invite those members of our community to come to celebrate this Sabbath day. We thank you for all those visitors who have come in. May they receive a special blessing from the message that you would have prepared for them today. We thank you, Lord, for being our God the great God, the one who sustains, the greatest healer, the provider. Oh Lord, we lift high your holy name. We ask, Lord, at this time, your sweet Holy Spirit may attend each worshiper. Where here they might be in the different parts of this vast universe, oh God. There are locations, Lord, those who are even in hiding, Lord, who have to be worshiping and calling upon your name. We give you thanks. We give you thanks for your word, the Holy Scripture, that have called us out of darkness into this your marvelous light. We pray, O oh Lord, for our young people, the youth, O oh God, the leaders of tomorrow. We ask, Lord, that you may continue to be with those who are within our midst and even those Lord who are at home even now we ask O oh God that you will let them know that you are their friend and that they can trust you with their lives we pray for the children we pray O oh God that you'll continue to guide and protect them we pray, O oh God, for an outpouring of your sweet Holy Spirit within our lives. We pray for each family member that are represented here today. We pray, O oh God, for our speaker. Our speaker who have come in, Lord, with a message. We ask, Lord, that you grant him a special anointing from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. May his word, Lord, the ones that you have given him, may it reach hearts and may hearts be surrendered wholly to you. May decisions be sealed today, O oh Lord, for your eternal kingdom. We ask, O oh Lord, that your sweet Holy Spirit will now have its way. Have its full sway today in this our midst. And may, Lord, when we should have leave here today, May we have something to go rejoicing and to call others to come and taste and see that the Lord is good. Lord, we pray for our country. 
We pray for those children, Lord, that are battered and abused. Oh God, your signs are telling, Lord, that your coming is even at the door. We ask, oh Lord, that you continue to be with us for the remaining portion of this year, Holy Sabbath hours. And may, Lord, a blessing, the blessings that you have in store for all those who love you, oh, all those who fear you. May we accept that blessed gift, oh Lord, and share it with others. Ask now, Lord, that you ward off this place from all the darkness. Ward off this place, O oh Lord, of the evil angels. Ward off this place, O oh Lord, so that our worship will be done in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Lord, for hearing the feeble offerings of my mouth and of my heart. Accept, O oh Lord, we pray, and may your services be blessed. Wherever they are gathered, your people are gathered today as we lift high your holy name because there is no other name whereby we can be saved. Take charge now, Lord, in the sweet and holy name we pray of Jesus. Once you are asked to introduce somebody, the convention is that you can ask the speaker for a script, and some of them come with an entire folder, or you with the assignment to introduce the speaker can quiz the speaker to get some things that the speaker wants to be said about him. I have done none of those. Panton, how are you going to introduce him then? Having done none of those. But I'd like to submit to you this day that that which I am going to say is truth. I will speak the truth about this man. The speaker assigned to bring us the message today is from St. Catherine. And you know, I am happy you know that very few, very few people in this con congregation can dispute what I am going to say. Very few people. So even if it now goes so straight, and I can't dispute it. He works with Northeast Jamaica Conference of Seventh-day Adventists with assignment to the Claremont District of Churches. 
I'd like to say to you today that our speaker, he is warm and he is friendly. In the words of the young people, he's a person with vibes. Our speaker today, he is a father. And he is a husband. I am confident in the belief that when he shall have spoken to us, we will be justly satisfied and none of us will it below the level of our expectations because the hand of the Lord will be on our speaker today. What do you say, church? Man God's is appointed to speak to us is Pastor Thor. Shall we make him welcome? Welcome, Pastor Thor. Traveling with Pastor Top is Sun Top. Stand up, Sun Top. Let them see you. He stood up before. And also traveling with Pastor Top is wife top stand up wife top let the brethren see her shall we give them both a big amen thank you all for gracing us with your presence i sincerely hope that as you worship today the experience will be tremendous whoever before pastor tops top brings us god's message the church choir will give us the meditation song
Amen. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Happy Sabbath, Port Antonio. How you are doing? How you are looking? How you are feeling? Wonderful. I can see that you are having a grand time. Let me say thank you so very much, choir, for that beautiful message in song. And by the way, you are looking lovely in the black and what's that color? Wifey, blue. Yeah. My wife knows that the color, color thing I'm in works so well. Um, well. You're looking great and the song was beautifully done. Come to Jesus just as you are. Broken. Come. Troubled on every side. Come. Cast out and cast down. Come. But Jesus is able to solve our problems and to mend our broken hearts. Let me say thank you very much, my elder, for your words of welcome. We, 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 are, we, are, we are families. We, we, we just worship in different locations. So you, you only introduce somebody you don't know <laughs> we are family we are all seventh day adventist christians and so let me say thank you thank to the pastors and the board of elders and leaders of the port antonio sda church and members thank you very much for allowing my family and i i'm kimberly and jaheem always with me we we move as a unit. So where you see one, you see the other or others. <laughs> so, so I was looking around to see the clock. And somehow I just could not see the clock. And I thought I was being tricked. Somehow I knelt down and when I look up, I saw the clock way, way in the back, which suggests that I have limited time. If there was no clock now, I could preach till midnight, like Paul. But I'm happy to be here, and time is far gone. I'm, so I'm asking you to stay alert and awake 
for maybe 20 minutes or so as we go through the word of God today. As I stepped in, I saw brother and sister and young Shelton. Yes, man. Very good friends. Friend of mine. And I'm happy to see all three of them. I thought that Sister Shelton would be singing on the choir too. But it's just the brothers only <laughs> there. But all right, let us, let us go into the word of God. It comes to us from the book Luke. Luke chapter, chapter 15. And I want all of us, all of you to turn your Bibles to Luke 15 while we read alternately or responsively. Luke 15 reading from verse 11 through to about verse 24. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Amen. And then he said, a certain man had two sons. You're not there. You're not there. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. But when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants of my father have bread enough to spare and I perish with hunger? Check one. And I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me therefore as one of thy hired servants. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. And bring either the fatted calf and kill it. Let us eat and be merry. Amen. The word of God comes to us under the subject, Lord, I'm coming home. Lord. I'm coming home. Our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed. Our hearts are lifted heavenward. Lord and Father, we just want to say to you, Happy Sabbath, Lord. And we are thankful that you have allowed us this privilege to be able to come together and to worship you publicly. We ask that you will remove all distraction, keep us focused, so that as you speak to us, hearts will be blessed, lives be changed, and souls will be one for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord. I'm coming home. The rapid growth of juvenile delinquency, which is responsible for more than 
70% of our crime and violence indicates to us today that we are living in a grand and awful time. It is a time where I believe parents has to screen what is on the television or what is being played on YouTube. For sometimes you, we don't even know what the children are watching or what they are listening to. And I've learned over the years that there are two kind of powers in this world. God's power and the devil's power. The good power and the bad power. And the question that I believe that we need to ask ourselves after we finish watching these degrading movies and listen to those immoral songs is, am I ready to go home? Lord, I'm coming home. And so Jesus caught the attention of his listeners with a certain man that had two sons. Two sons who would sit beside him every morning in worship. Two sons who were able and capable to stand in church and share powerful testimonies. Two sons who were following in their father's footsteps. But for some strange reason, the younger son started listening to some different kind of music that were being played on the radio. He started watching some different kind of movies that were being shown on the television. And all of a sudden, he had no interest in church anymore. And therefore, he said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me and not many days after the word of God says he took his journey down to a far country I wanted to preach about this far country in a sermon but I have discovered that this far country has got no geographical location it suggests church that even though you are here in church physically, maybe mentally, you are in another place. But upon careful observation of the scripture, I have discovered that this boy did not just get up overnight and took this journey to this far country. But there was a process that he had to follow. And many of us believe that we can just get up in the week and go anywhere and do anything and then come to church and Sabbath and sing holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. But I'm here to remind the people of God that it is not all right. For the word of God says, blessed is a man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stand in the ways of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law doubt he meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of waters that brings forth fruit in his season his leaves uh, shall not wither, and whatsoever he does, uh, it shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so. They are like the chaff, which the wind <laughs> drives away. And so there is a process, church. But hear me, you will feel good getting stuff from the devil... But he will give you what you want and then takes away what you have. I hear a story about a young woman, beautiful young lady, and she was
doing good at school and in church. 9.15 one Sabbath morning, she was on her way to church and the drug lord of that particular community offered her a ride to church. Somehow she accepts the ride. And when she arrived at church, all her friends were so amazed and, and they said to her, you look so good sitting in the front seat of that BMW car. Somehow it got to her head. And the next Sabbath morning she came sitting in the front seat of the BMW. And the next Sabbath morning she came sitting in the front seat of the BMW until she was now passing church sitting in the BMW's front seat. The word came on the street that she was pregnant out of wedlock. And from one baby to another, to another, to another. And the drug lord found himself another pretty woman to sit in his BMW's front seat. For this young lady now have too many children. And so she was not looking as beautiful and well-shaped anymore. And so he found himself somebody else to sit in the front seat of that BMW car. And this young woman who was doing so good in school and at church had no to be doing some low down dirty stuff in order to make money. Until she found herself at rock bottom. Young people, adults, you will feel good getting stuff from the devil. But hear me, that old rascal, he will give you what you want. And then take away what you have. Wasted his substance with riotous living and began to be in want. But I'm here to let the people of God know that any life outside of Christ will be a life of want. For the more you get is the more you will want. That is right. The songwriter says there is no satisfaction without salvation. S A L. V-A-T-I-O-N You will never be able to be satisfied living outside of Christ but when you come boldly to the throne of grace you're not worried about your wants anymore for Jesus will supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. David Left the fall of God. Wanted someone else's wife. But when he came back and Jesus satisfied him, he said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. When you are wrapped up in Jesus, your needs will always be supplied. Not your wants. <laughs> Oftentimes we, we hear this sermon being preached. Most, if not all, emphasis is being placed on the son. How he was ungrateful. Took all his possession. And wasted it. But permit me today. Permit me this afternoon. To place all the emphasis on the Father. Journey with me. With your sanctified imagination. As you close your eyes and you think back in time. Oh now I can 
see the father looking through the window, lingering in the hope that one day, somehow, some way, his son would come back home. He had another son at home. He had some servants at home. They were saying to him, leave him alone. He had some, some pastors and elders at home. He had some Sabbath school superintendents and, and AY leaders at home. He, he had some deacons and deaconesses at home. And, and they were saying to him, leave him alone. We saw him while he was sitting in church in his self-righteous indignation. Leave him alone. We saw him while he was sitting in church and playing church. But I'm happy that the father was not listening to them uh, for a while you and I uh, were aliens uh, and strangers uh, from the commonwealth of Israel. Uh, God uh, in his love uh, sent Jesus to reconcile the world uh, to himself. The father said go down to the far country and if you see my son <laughs> tell him softly and tenderly Jesus is calling Go down to the far country. And if you see my son, tell him, come to the waters. Stand by my side. Drink of this fountain. You won't be denied. I felt every teardrop when in darkness you cried. Go down to the far country. And if you see my son, tell him, come boldly to the throne of grace. And I will have mercy on him. Word of God says, he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country who sent him into his fields to feed, to feed, hug, joy you can, turn. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. But if you study the scripture carefully, you would observe that this boy was a Jew. And if you know anything at all about the Jews, they had nothing to do with swine. But not only that, so the man to whom he had joined himself had to be a Gentile. So hear this now. The Jews consider themselves to be better than the Gentiles. In the eyes of the Jews, the Gentiles were dogs. So look at what was happening in this boy's experience. The man whom he thought himself to be above, he was now beneath the man. For he was now working for the man. One of Seventh-day Adventists taking notes. So not because they drive the pretty cars. Not because they live in nice houses. Not because they get a good education. You are not better than anybody. For I'm here to remind you that in Jesus, we are all equal. In Jesus, there is no black or white. In Jesus, there is no rich or poor. In Jesus, we are all equal. So, Elder, the pastor no better than you. <laughs> Deacons, the elders no better than you. Members, the leaders no better than you. We are all members of God's family. And so pastorship or the title can't save me. The office of an elder can't save you. We are saved by grace through faith which is the gift of God. The word of God says that he came to himself. He said how many hired servants of my father have bread enough to spare and I perish. Let us try and bring it home. He said, wait a minute. 
I can remember one Sabbath afternoon while I was in AY, I used to hear the brethren singing, isn't the love of Jesus simply wonderful? It is so high that you can't get over it. It is so low that you can't get under it. It is so wide that you can't get around it. It means that it does not matter how far you have gone in sin. The blood of God, the love of God is potent enough to rescue the perishing and care for the dying. He said, he said, he said, I'm going home. Hear me now, family of God. The Jewish tradition says, if a boy took his wealth and possession, leave home, up on returning, he would be stoned to death. Again, the Jewish tradition says, if a boy took his wealth and possession, leaves home, up on returning, he would be stoned to death. That is all right. <laughs> but Jesus says, if any man will come after me, <laughs> let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. So it is okay, brothers and sisters, to come home on the penalty of death. He said, I'm going home. He didn't even stop to get a bath. He said, I'm going home. He was, he was stink and, and dirty. And, and he, he said, I'm going home. He didn't even stop to get a haircut. He said, I'm going home. The church members... My take, my name, of the church record, but I'm going home. My family might turn their backs on me, but I'm going home. My friends might ridicule me, but I am going home. You know why? For home. Is the safest place <laughs> to be. Especially when you have family members at home who loves you. We have members of our family but both them to us sometimes. Sleep and if we just show them more love. Just show them more love. One, one, one. <laughs> one secular artist said, kill them with the love. <laughs> if we just love them, I am telling your church that they will come home sooner rather than later. He said, I'm going home. <laughs> oh, I can see the father sitting on his veranda, looking out, hoping that his son would come home. He saw somebody coming towards the house. He ran toward the person to see who it was. And as they got closer to each other, the son saw that it was his father, the father saw that this person was his son and, and they ran and hugged each other. The son said, Father, I have sinned. The first step towards repentance is acknowledging the fact that you have sinned. The father said, Son, Brother Shelter, Save your testimony for later. For tradition is getting ready to stone you. And some of those stones are going to be some verbal stones. The father said, son, I must place my, 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 myself around you. For to the least of these, my brethren, they have done it unto. 
They have done it all so unto me. So I will be wounded for your transgressions. I will be bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace will be on me. And by my stripes you will be healed. What a loving God. What a merciful God. Hear me now. Hear me now. Each time we sin and comes back to God. Are we accepted by God? Are we? Then why when our brothers and sisters sin against us? We refuse to forgive and move on. Hello? Don't answer. <laughs> Don't answer. In closing, 9.15, Sabbath morning, the elder brother was on his way to church with his Bible underneath his arm, his head held to the right as if everyone else is on the wrong side. He, he heard singing and dancing going on. He, he stopped a, 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 a sister. He said, sister, what is going on in church? The sister said, your brother, who was mixed up in guns and drugs and let us come in, have come back home and so your father have started a celebration for him. He, now the elder brother was getting angry. And so he walked a little faster. He saw a brother. He said, brother, what is going on in church? The brother said, your sister who got pregnant out of wedlock has come back home. And so your father has started a celebration for him. Oh, the elder brother storm into the church. Grab his father. He said, father, I have been preaching your sermons, uh, teaching your Bible class, uh, directing your choir, but you've never had a celebration for me. But this year's son, uh, not his brother anymore, this year's son uh, has come back home and you have started a celebration for him. The father said, sit down. Shut your mouth. You always want to be in the limelight. Always want to be the preacher. Always want to be the lead singer. Always want to be the AY leader. Always want to be the first elder. Always want to be the Sabbath school superintendents. You could have grabbed two or three of the members and go into the highways and the byways and rescue the perishing, care for the dying, snatch them in pity from sin and the grave. But what the other than is doing? <laughs> Boy, I grab him, Father. If I did me, <laughs> grab for me, Papa, like that. Sorry for the colloquial term. One box. <laughs> he is a sing. But there are some folks in God's church who believes that the church of God belongs to them. So it's my AY department. And if I'm not, if I'm not the, the head deaconess, then the communion bread, not nice. <laughs> if I'm not the lead singer on the choir, now I sound good. So a family department, a my department, if I'm not in charge, then things now go run properly. So if I your department, your AOI, your Sabbath school, your choir, if everything are for you, what belongs to God? And the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, they that dwell therein. We are privileged to be working with the master. The truth is that God no need we. Whether or not you believe it, God no need we. It's a privilege. For if I don't praise him, the rocks are going to cry out, glory and honor. So it behooves us to humble ourselves and praise the Lord. Can I share with you 
in closing that this boy's journey down was not like his journey up. His journey down, he was saying, I've wandered far away from God. But his journey up, he was saying, Lord, I'm coming home. His journey down, he said, when I get down there, I want to meet some new friends. But on his way up, he was saying, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. On his way down, he pulled his pants way below his buttocks. He said, when I get down there, I want to be like cartel. <laughs> but on his way up, he was saying earthly pleasures, vainly calling. Yet I will be like Jesus on his way down. He said, I want some red label wine uh, to turn on the thrills. Uh, but on his way up, he was saying, all uh, that thrills my soul uh, is Jesus. On his way down, uh, he was saying like Shaggy, it was not me. Uh, but on his way up, he was saying, uh, it's me, uh, it's me, uh, it's me, oh Lord. Uh, I'm standing uh, in the need uh, of prayer. What a God we serve. He stand up in church. He said, brothers and sisters, I have a testimony and I must share it with you. He said, I can remember when I was way down yonder, I could not hear anybody praying. And so I tried some drugs, but that could not help. I tried some girls, but they could not help. I tried some guns, uh, but that could not help. But when nothing else uh, could help, uh, it was love uh, that lifted me. Uh, it lifted me up. Uh, you pee. Uh, he planted my feet uh, on a rock to stay. Uh, and that is the reason why uh, I sing and I shout, uh, my Savior, my Savior, my Savior, my Savior came down uh, and lifted me up. Uh, Oh, what a God we serve. What a loving Savior. While we were in the quagmire of sin, God's love came to our rescue. We should have died. We should have been on the cross. But when he was on the cross, <laughs> we were on his mind he knew me yet he loved me what does he sing that song we are the singers just a verse and the chorus just the verse and the chorus somebody today somebody today you need to give your heart to God you need to come back home Look at what is happening in our world. Time is at hand. The coming of the master. Joy is nigh. Somebody needs to come. We're not closing until we allow somebody to give his or her heart to God. Somebody needs to come home. And nothing on my, own. on my own. We are nothing, brothers and sisters. I and often trip. I often sleep. Just come on. Just come on. Flesh. Flesh Is there somebody for Jesus? Somebody needs to accept Jesus today. Been too long in the far country. When he was on the cross. You and I. Come on church. Join in this one. Yet he loved me. 
Yet what a merciful God we serve. You are here today. Not because of chance. But because God wanted you to be here. As we're singing softly. We're singing softly of such mercy. Of such mercy. I'm going to ask members, members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church to stand. Members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, stand. Amen. It, it means that those who are seated are yet to come out of the far country. Members, if your friend is seated, take them to the altar while we pray for them. If your friend is seated, it suggests that they have not yet come out of the far country. Take them to the altar. We want to pray. We just want to pray with them. We just want to pray with them. Amen. We just want to pray with you. Amen. Whose glory you and I Is mine. Amen. Amen. God will serve. So of such mercy. Such mercy. Amen. 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 They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. I'm going to ask my leaders just to Join us at the front. Just make a circle. Just stand somewhere around them. Stand somewhere around these people. God, they are the apple of God's eye. And, and I don't want to go to heaven without them. I am giving them the opportunity to go to heaven with me. They are your friends. And you are giving them the opportunity to go to heaven with you. I'm going to ask my leaders just to surround them. That's my elder. I want to pray for us. Our heads are bowed. Our eyes are closed. Our hearts are lifted heavenward. As we are singing prayerfully. If you are desire us to come while we are praying come oh God our heavenly father we are grateful to thee for the manifestation of thy Holy Spirit we are thankful to thee for the proclamation of the gospel today we have seen ourselves like the prodigal we have decided to come home we are confident that the door of mercy is still ajar beckoning people 
to come home and be saved in God's everlasting kingdom. Lord, we are thankful to these individuals who have come to the altar requesting a closer walk with thee. We pray that thou will continue to woo and succor them. This great experience, this mountaintop experience that they have with thee today, we pray that it will always be with them. Lord, we know that the devil is at the foot of the hill to take away the experience that we have had with thee today. But we pray that thou will go before us, Lord, and fly every trap and snare of Satan so that thy people will go in peace. Lord, we look for the day when thou shalt commission the angels to trust in the settle to reap the harvest. May all those who this afternoon are gathered inside this sanctuary hear from thy glorious lips. Well done, thou good and faithful servants. Come home to your Father's kingdom. Lord, be with us. Bless us and continue to inspire thy man servant so that he will continue to deliver similar life saving sermons wherever he goes Lord bless us and keep us because we ask it in the name of the Father in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Spirit Amen Thank you very much everyone you may go back to your seat he knew me Yet he loved me. Heaven shine. very much and we will take the closing benediction and then we shall say saying dismiss us Lord we will have the benediction let now O God the words of our mouth the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight O Lord our strength and our redeemer amen dismiss us Lord church. We'll invite Pastor Thorpe to stand for us. Pastor Thorpe. Pastor, we have been edified. God has been glorified by your spirit-filled sermon. And therefore, on behalf of the Port Antonio Seventh-day Adventist Church, it is my pleasure and it is our pleasure to present to you this basket of goodies. We hope and trust that your heart will be filled with blessings and may as you feast from the fountain of life God will bless you both now and forever and ever the Lord bless you my brother I know it will be appreciated thank you This
what a message from pastor thorpe what a blessing and indeed it was a spirit-filled one down here at summerstone church the seventh day adventist now there are so many lessons we could take from from today but one key thing i must remind us that we ought to repent the son said, I have sinned against thee, I have sinned against heaven, and I must go to my father. We are all sinners, but as we acknowledge them, let us go to fa our father, our soon coming king. Have a blessed week until we meet again next week's Sabbath, same time and at the same place.